Okay, uh, yeah, line battle starting now. I'm just gonna... It's between the RGJ and 14th. Nice map. Yes. Pretty flat. Well, and yeah, it has enough rolling hills to get some tactics going in here. Yep. Let's see. RGJ led by Wellington and the line of the 14th. I believe Ward Drop is leading that line. More than likely. Yeah. Yep. Looks like they're wheeling a little bit. Oof. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Unless they get this flank shot. That could even end up. He's in job 14th, they're gonna get another volley off of Yeah. And first melee. Looks like the 14th are teaming up here quite well. Really very good job of encircling. Yeah. Not all rushing in for the one stab. Preventing some team kills. 14th moving out instantly. Looks like they have a few more. Yeah, they'll have to balance a couple for that one. Yeah. Same spot as last time. Doesn't look like any real decent ground the RGJ are going for. I can see one little ridge they could take some cover behind, but most of that's just pure flat. Yeah. I guess they're just trying to use these trees, so minimize casualties when they're walking through. Casualties, though. 14th will be willing to counter this. Yeah. Looks like they're pretty trained on that. New Ellington just keep... keeping on the move. You can do this all day if they wanted to, but who's going to get tired first? Yeah. Let's see how he reacts. Be a good time for a counter march by the RGJ. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yep. And there they go. Exactly. Ha ha ha. Oh. Bit of officer in there. Yep. Good return. Wow. That was Perfect flank. Yeah. Perfect shot there. The uh, 14th didn't really react to that counter column. It's very difficult. Yep. Especially if you're holding yourself still. Ooh, FOL there. That's gonna be some noise. Yep, yeah, there we go. Looks like 14th still getting a lot of kills. Four on four, dead even. 14th still doing a good job of trying to yeah. stick together and mount upon wow. their opponents. 14th just, just pulled that back quite well. A few side blocks mishaps. Yeah. Again, 14th. 
Yeah, on a column I mean, as they move. even when they took those heavy casualties, that was quite surprising that they still managed to pull that back. Speaks, speaks for some good melee. Huh. RGJ with some good calls by, uh, by Wellington there. Yep. I wasn't quite able to pull that off, though. And still got to account for the melee. But especially if you're just gonna go in circles, it's always a good move to do that reverse column. Like how pretty much everyone has a different name for that maneuver. <laughs> yeah, true. I'd never really seen it until about three weeks ago when we played the 3TE. Tricked us up. Yeah, I, I mean, the uh, EU side, you know, they do that reverse column stuff, and then it just, I guess it's catching on to the NA, because uh, especially with this league, people want to learn different maneuvers and, you know, make sure that they have the advantage. Yeah. RGJ actually might be able to outshoot the 14 if they found some good cover, but Wellington seems. Yeah, true. Seems to be going really close every time. Oof. Twelve to eleven. RGJ needs to pull this back. Doesn't quite look like it. Yeah. Fourteen's probably just gonna shoot this one out. Yeah. That's a nice little rule. Yeah. Makes it easier, less stressful, but last one alive. Will we see duels? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, we almost saw a duel. Almost. Yeah, or GJ needs to rethink how they're gonna approach the 14th line. Especially those close range shootouts not looking promising for them. Yeah, we've had many a close range shootout with the RGJ. Usually pretty even. I like the the balance the 14th has in the skill of their of their shooting the melee and their formations. They're pretty well rounded in that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean they they definitely seem to have trained those a lot. As I said earlier, RGJ might be able to outshoot them though. Yep, that might be their main advantage if they can manage to do that. It looks like 14th are not going to let them keep on shooting. Notice they use the face officer when they reload. Ah, yeah. When we did some co-trainings with the AT two weeks ago, they were doing... They did that. I really don't think it affects the hitboxes anymore, though, after some of the last patches. Yeah, so it's... I don't know how useful of a tactic that still is. Yeah, it's a little... It's something that it's like, is there a bullet drop? It's one of those arguments. But sometimes people like that, so that if they need to move out really quickly, they already are facing the one side. Yeah. But... That's... that's I was talking to them about why they did that. Yeah. Looks like some tree cover RGJ have. Hopefully those bullets won't hit too many of them. 
Now they're in the open. 14th line. And on the left, so they won't be obscured by the trees. And we have another shootout. Uh, the regiment taking hill cover, so pretty even right now. Yep. Range 75 yards. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Looks like 14th. We're gonna. Went into a column facing the enemy. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Never want to line yourself right in front of those volleys. Several hits there. RGJ taking very few casualties. So there's one. Not casualties. Wounds. Neither regiment really acquiring any spacing, which might help them. Or did you say that? True. Intended or not, we don't know. Fourteenth will definitely have to balance now. Ah, oh, yeah. Got three more. Yeah, it looks like Wardrop needs to move, because uh, they're definitely not winning in the shooting game. We're just gonna have to push in close and finish it with a bayonet. Yep, I'm sure they can pull it off. It's just how the RGJ will react to that. Wellington may still have something up his sleeve. A wily bugger to be sure. <laughs> RGJ taking their up. second casualty. Yeah, much needed. For the 14th. It looks like they're gonna get the flank shot, but 14th will wheel in. Good kills there by the 14th. Good counters, good counters. Yep, very good counters. Now they're on pretty much even ground if they can get into melee. Or GJ might manage one more shot. They will. Yep. And oof. Verge of falls there. Yeah. On the verge. Not quite slightly, I'd right, say. So. Yeah. So RGJ will need to really work together here. 14th getting a little split up. RGJ are pressing their numbers. Yep. Oof, that gray guy took out three. Three on one there. Second team killed there. That's gonna hurt. RGJ really got separated there. Some of them very aggressive, which is always a bad thing. Yeah. If you're outnumbered. You can play a little more defensively, I think. Yep. Looks like they balanced. Balance of the Colonel. Let's see who on, who's on top. We got Lieutenant Colonel Degg with 12 kills for the 14th. Wow. Maybe he's gonna miss that bayonet. Huh. Ah, uh, yeah, looks like he's leaving the line now. He is. So RGJ will definitely need to use the shooting to their advantage. Because it looks like every melee brawl they get into, it's not... The outcome is not, uh, good for them. Nope. Taking up pretty much the same position as they did at the beginning of the last one. Yeah. Range probably in excess of 120 yards. Yeah. 14 pretty good hits. Much needed, needed at this point, because uh, they do outgun them by two, so... Oof. 
RGJ may need to move and find some better cover. Yeah. Difficult to tell with the bushes. It looks like the 14th is decently covered on that hill. It's on sight, if not. Yeah, I mean, around. especially with the bushes, might make it a little bit harder to see your target. Whereas looking from the 14th perspective, the RGJ will light out with you, but need to move that little ridge in front of them. Yeah, yeah. Suppose the height advantage. Yeah, could be a slight height advantage. But RG definitely need to move. Wellington. Knowing when it's best to stand behind his line and dissing you. <laughs> Not a bit. Several RGJ are wounded. And they are going to move. Or reform one of the two. Yep. Might take that little hill in front of them. Now to put them on even grounds for the 14th, as far as cover up there. Whereas if the 14th can get in that little ridge in front of them, oh, never mind. Now we have Lamar taking a bullet. Yeah. RGG definitely need to get some kills here where it counts. Looks like 14th have quite a lot of cover. Going for that hill now. They'll get quite close, so it'll be a close shootout. It's a game of chicken once again. Ooh, reverse line by RGJ. Oh, there they go. Let's see if it works. 14th, they're going to move yeah. right up on that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, a little too soon there. How many shots got up there? Good volley by the RGJ. Yeah. It's down to the melee now. RGJ Oof. already split up between the right and the left. Yep. Yeah. Fighting an inner circle battle over there on the left. As far as here. Oof. Both seeming to be looking for oh, wow. With Melvin. six alive there. Ugh. And about five or six stabs going on yeah. a minute ago, and they never really never made contact. Yep, switch sides now. Best of ten. One more round win for the fourteenth and they will win this, but it will be a best of ten, so they'll still play all the other rounds. An opportunity for RGJ to get some points on the board. Yeah. And RGJ plays foot guards. That is a violation, I believe. Yes, it is. Couple thirty thirds mixed in amongst the cold streams. Yeah, yeah, I think they realize that. A lot of people seem to believe the Russian grenadiers have advanced staff. 
when really they're the same as the normal line infantry. Yep. So, at the RGJ spawn, if they can take that same spot 14th took, they could have a gain in the shooting. At least in a... terrain advantage. It's it's good pivot point on the map. You can hit pretty much anywhere on, on that little ridge. Yeah. This is the round of counts. Done looking to be moving around Oof. to the left. Yeah. Hmm. So that's never good. Excellent shot, though. Yeah, quite a shot. Not sure what Wellington's plan is here. There's a little cover available to him if he proceeds. Little cover available to him there, though. Yeah. One of his people firing through a tree. Looks like he'll take that spot there. Or not. Maybe. Surprised they're not doing many volleys this line battle for both regiments. Yeah, that is. That is a thing. A lot of. A lot of wheels being shot here. Yep. Yeah. And reload. I think that's pretty much the only point in the event where I've seen someone have complete. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Seems moving around to counter them. Yeah. Fourteenth get close, then uh, it's going to be quite difficult for the RGJ to make use of it, especially 14th. from what we've seen. Fourteenth could have kept coming up. It almost didn't look like Wellington knew that they were that close. It's going yeah. to come down to a volley and a charge, most likely. Yep, both lines reversing. Another reverse there. And another reverse. Nice flank shot by the 14th. Oh. Yeah. So that's going to hurt both, mainly the 14th. Yep. Still, dead even. still even now, dead even. Yeah. Not sure what that was. Oof, nice shooting by the RGJ. Mm-hmm. The gaps in their line are going to help them. If nice RGJ board. can, you know, take out half more, they have a chance to win this round. Very nice. Three to nine now, so... These very close calls here. It's going to be quite hard for Jackie to see whether it deserves a slay or not. But some of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, not sure what that was. That hurts. Ah, uh, oh. Well, that was quite a round. RGJ managed to pull off that close shootout and, uh,. They did, but don't know yeah. if they put their better shooters before. Yeah, I have no clue what happened there. If they were just lucky or not sure. I guess we'll find out this round. So for the 14th, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be a little bit on their toes now, making sure that those close range shootouts, they, uh, 
definitely need to get into melee, as that is their advantage. Another early kill. Yeah. Wellington's always on the move here. Looks like he'll have somewhat of a spacing. Yep. 14th still managing good shots though. Yeah. 14th line is a bit of a clump right now. RGJ not really taking it back. Yeah. RGJ needs to pull this back. Yeah, that 14th line definitely a little bit clump there. And on an angle, so. Might hurt them. Twelve on fourteen still anyone's game. Eleven on or no yep. fourteen on. Twelve and on And fourteenth. Yep. Now it's dead even. Fourteenth do not want to take that risk, so. Looks like we could be coming to the same thing we saw last round. I yep. don't know if all the fourteenth are loaded. Yep. Pretty sure they're going to try to get into melee as soon as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And it looks like they will. They're yep. not going to be able to form quick enough to fire. Yeah, oof. That reverse column definitely getting them into melee. Dead even melee here. Um, RGJ spread out all over the place. One by one. Yeah, one is. by one. Feldspar there, employing yeah. the spin to win. Oof. So I believe the score is 6 to 1. Yep, 6 to 1 for the 14th. That will be a 14th win, but there's still an opportunity for yeah. the RGJ to get points on the board. Yeah, three more rounds. Yeah, I believe the RGJ should have sort of kept their distance that time. Especially watched out for that melee, because dead even melee with the 14th in these circ circumstances. Wellington pretty much constantly changing his tactics round to round. Makes it very hard for, um, oh, we've got loss in command this time. It makes it very hard for Wardropper Dig, whoever's leading the 14th there. To predict him, I can't even predict him. Yeah. So I can work to and against his advantage. Los is employing a lot of the A and D keys, which is going to clump his line. Yep, oof, huge clump there. Yeah. They are 15 on 17. 14. 14. Again, a little bit clumped in some areas of the 14th line and a bit of an But they seem to be doing fine under those circumstances. Yeah, yeah. Still wouldn't hurt to uh, adjust your line a little bit so you're not on that angle. GJ evening things up. Moving him around. Yeah, same as last time. When they were dead even, they moved. Going for. Oh, looks like he's the heavy heel cover. Yeah. I don't even think they can shoot over that right there. Nope. Definitely would be good for the RGJ to flank around, but that's what the 14th want, so they can get into melee. They are going to counter them. Yep.
RGJ could do a reverse and get out of there right now and head yeah. back to somewhere where they can implore some more bullets. Uh, if they are gonna go with this, RGJ definitely needs to keep their distance, and I think they will. They made a reverse, but they're coming around. Yeah, so. yeah. Still need to manage that distance so you don't get ambushed like last time. And... Now a good flank by the Oof. RGJ. Yep. Possibly a, a rough call by the 14th. It's depends on how many but kills the they can get. RGJ Ooh, the clump! The clump! Right back. Damn, that clump really will hurt. Dead even again, so... It looks like they're gonna reload. Hmm. Much needed shots by the RGJ here. Yep. Much needed spacing by the RGJ. It's on the verge of large good but Very oh, nice, no. very nice folly. They can pick one or two more off, they'll probably have this round. They may have it now, who knows. Yep. And looks like the melee's gonna go on now. Pretty easy. The one man, though, instead of clumping up all the, on the two. <laughs> Jeez. Dead down. They really need to team up, Pin. Yeah. Close them down. Good no there. Room. There they go. And it looks like Wellington went ranker in order to get his guys some. Oof. Some guys are reloading there. <laughs> nice round there. RGJ managed to keep their distance, get in that shooting mode, and pull off the victory. Those flanks in that close combat are just the key. Yep. And so far, they we've done a real good job of seeing them get those flanks. Now, with two rounds left, both regiments know each other's tactics, you know, pretty well, I'd say. But still, Wellington's quite unpredictable. But Wellington's not quite in command here. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Looks That's like... Straight line by the RGJ. Yeah. Anyway. Nice volley there. Very but nice. But the 14th will manage a nice... Flank. There's the flank. Well, yeah, maybe oh, not. Maybe. Unpredictable now. Both regiments are close, even if the 14th gets into melee, and looks like the RGJ will charge. No hits, one hit by the 14th. Yeah. It's surprising there. Team kill's going to hurt them. RGJ outnumbered them vastly, so, well, by five, so they definitely need to work together in melee. Does look like the down. 14th are cut off and split off, so. What are we, a four on, a three on ten? Yep, yep. Yep. Very nice there. That's pretty well rounded up. If they can keep that other straggler from grouping back up, yeah, they'll be alright. Just gotta play very cautious. This deck is very aggressive. Yeah. Says I as he constantly backs up. <laughs> wow. Well done by the RGJ. That was really unexpected. They really split up that 14th line and managed to team up there. Nice round. Especially with taking that risk and charging instead of, uh, running away, forming up, and shooting again with their advantage, but definitely well worth it. I thought we were going to see at the beginning of the last round both regiments just instantaneously, instantaneously charge as they seem to both march directly towards each other. Yeah. Just giving them a little bit. Oof! RGJ. A few hits there. One thing I'm seeing good coming out of the RGJ is they just instantly go to the end. They don't stand there and hope they're not hit. 
Yeah. It would really help the 14th guards and spacing in though, instead of being shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, the spacing is, you know, it, it's always half man, I believe, but yeah, half man's the max. Dead even now. Say, so yeah, I think that's some of the better attendance I've seen from the RGJ in a while. I haven't seen much of them lately. Yeah, same. Looks like 14th are just gonna get shot up here. Um, don't think they really have the shooting edge in this round, so they're gonna probably want to move soon in order to get their melee advantage still intact. RGJ doesn't have much of a hill advantage. Yeah, looks like 14th will move now. Take that little hill. Puts them actually above the RGJ, it looks like. Yep. RGJ will want to minimize casualties now until they get up close. It's going to be interesting to see how these regiments uh, pretty much end this round. Looks like they have some hill cover. They do, they can't take advantage of it though with the 14th moving out of their firing site. Yep. I guess RGJ will want to keep their distance, maintain their advantage here, definitely not be intimidated by their the 14th reverse line. Oof, deadly volley. volley there. RGJ will want to move quick. Yeah, oh, they should have moved a long time ago, not, not sure what they're doing. Alright, that's gonna play some probably about dead even in melee. Yep. Thanks, down. That's some... gonna hurt him. Yeah. 5e13 now, so. 14th are very split up, that's gonna work against them for sure. And it's down to one. And that's it. Wow. Nice ending there for the RGJ. Very nicely done. Almost yeah. enough to come back and tie the game. Almost, but... almost. Wonder what how it would have played out if uh they use these same maneuvers in the beginning. The world shall never know. <laughs> but nevertheless, a very good match by both regiments. Great shooting by the RGJ combined with some with some good melee and a... Was that a pistol snipe? I don't know, I didn't see it. Where? Oh, no. shit, I think it was. Damn. If war drops an officer, that was a pistol snipe. Holy crap. Oh, well, it's just the officer. That was a musket, but still, that was a very huh, good shot. Yeah. <laughs> yep, uh, I guess that's it, guys. So, next league match will be here. And thanks to Newkirk for co commentating. Thanks to Carth for having me. I've enjoyed it.